energy. Hi and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben and this is my review for Amazon's original series called The Rail... No. Underground Railroad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good start. Yes, the Underground Railroad. A young woman named Cora makes an amazing discovery during her attempt to break free from slavery in the Deep South. I'm under the impression that Barry Jenkins is a genius. Um, he won an Oscar for directing Moonlight, and that was a film that I had to be in the mood for watching. This is worse than that, and I really thought that I would have to be in the mood to watch this. The thing is, this whole series is absolutely riveting from episode 1 to episode 10. The story that Cora, our main protagonist, goes on, we start at a plantation where she has to escape the life that she's living because the life that she's living is horrible. You know, everything that you think that you know about slavery in those days, you know, in the Bible about that kind of area, it's, it's a hyper realistic look at that world. So it's based on a novel. It's a fictional story, but it's based on times and events that actually happened. You take those times and events and you hyper realize them into creating a story that's riveting, horrible to watch and uh, very, very interesting at the same time. As you asking yourself questions like how can humanity actually have done things like this? What is wrong with us? No wonder God wanted to wipe us out, you know, with a flood. If you're a Christian, you believe that or no wonder we get up to creating such nonsense like we have done in the past. No wonder we've had multiple world wars when some of us in humanity do things like this. So it, ha it does make you think. It's those sort of questions that will flow around in your mind. I really thought that I would have to be in the mood to watch this, but upon watching episode one, I was totally riveted in the story of Cora. You're absolutely behind her. You want her to escape. You want her freedom. But at the same time, you're feeling the pull of everybody else that is having to have lived that life. But what makes this film really interesting is the fictional, fictionalized, realized, <laughs> and I'll get to my point very quickly, the fictionalized, realized railroad underground. So there wasn't actually a real uh, railroad underground, but there were safety houses uh, for where um, slaves of the time could escape to and people would help them. And so we have that, but it's a real a realized railroad. And I thought that was really interesting. It's a it's a take on humanity in the time that wasn't very nice, but there were some nice people trying to drive forward our future into being a better future where it's not about color. And we're still, damn it, we're still struggling with that today, which is mental. Um, but it's definitely stories that, we, you know, need to be kept kept being told so we don't do the same mistakes you know how many world war ii films and tv series uh, have we made you know hollywood or the world in general and we're still making them well hopefully we won't build you know, won't build on those mistakes we have learned something from them as humanity and society but you know unless we're under one world government <laughs> We're all going to do different things according to our laws and culture. Anyway, I digress. We're getting more and more of these type of films and stories, lots of stories to be told about this time and even now. And so I do think some people are going to have issues with this. They'll be like, not another one of these. I thought it was riveting. The cinematography is excellent. Every single one of the damned actors that you see on screen. And I, I say damn because uh, every time I saw them deliver certain moments or monologue, even the, the lines that you thought were meant to be boring were riveting because of the way Way they were acting. Uh, Joel Egerton in this, um, he plays menacing in a really understated way. Chase Dillon is um, a little child, I think is in every single one of the episodes. He is menacing as well because he's kind of been conditioned to uh, be on the white man's side and you'll understand as you watch that um so it's like a stockholm syndrome for a little child and his story is kind of interesting although we don't go massively into it uh joel egerton like i said massively uh has screen presence and then we have our main character cora who you're just on her side the whole time and she has to go through so many horrible things throughout the 10 episodes but you are rooting for her strength that it comes across on screen so well and so with the cinematography that is just beautiful and harrowing to watch you know what you see what's put on screen is heightened but it's an adventure of someone standing all those trials and going through them i'll let you discover what happens at the end put this on your list i said multiple times now i thought i had to be in the mood as one of those like raging bull there's certain films you know are brilliant but you have to be in the mood. This is one of them, but once I put it on, I was like, damn, this is good. So I'm giving this a straight up A+. I think uh, Barry Jenkins is a brilliant 
director, brilliant storyteller, and uh, I hope we get so much more from him. I'm interested to see what other worlds he creates or hype hyper realistic worlds you know taking something that we know and accentuating that circumstance that's basically what he's done here phenomenal series definitely worth watching thanks so much for watching this review but most of all until next time remember the long tuesday